Right. I've found something. So it seems that currently there's about 27,000 different Twitter accounts that tweet like deep pictures with like meaningful quotes over the top of them and managed to bang like a million and 37 retweets in the process. So our first serial offender for these is Deep Snaps, right? And all they do here, right, is find some picture on Google that's probably used on Tumblr about four years ago, save it on their phone and then whack a sideways Snapchat caption over the top of it. 4,000 retweets. Look how they shine for you. Who are you sending that to then? Another key key thing to note, right, with these accounts is that really 90% of all the posts, it's just like retweets from some other shite Twitter account. Oh, broken messages, for example. She has a good heart, even though it's been broke numerous times, she's still trying to love like she's never been hurt before. Like, who are they on about? Another just a retweet here. How many times did you sit crying in your room and no one noticed? I'm uh, scrolling through the replies right now and I don't see a single number. Oh, vintage. They've retweeted a food porn account. I haven't seen one of them before. Like, what's the odds we find something in, like, Matt Black here. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Not in North Shields, they don't. All oh, right, has she been like climbing through jungles to get to that beach, has she? Oh, I thought so. The things that we love tell us what we are. Go on then, Alan, what am I like? Belief creates the actual fact. Like, do you see what I'm getting at here? Like, like what does that actually mean? Belief creates the actual fact. The what? The actual fact. And what relevance is that background? Oh, we've got a lake that I've turned pink in Photoshop. Well, personally, I mean, I'm feeling really inspired right now. Some things are really worth the wait. Whacked on top of a picture, halfway up the M1. Place for everything, everything in its place. It's just waffle. Well, what are the replies to this then? Oh, there isn't any yet because no one's got a clue what they're on about. Our entire life consists ultimately in accepting ourselves as we are. Well, that's lovely to know. Thank you, random person buying Twitter account. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I mean, personally, I thought, you know, it happened when you, you were born, but as knowledge increases, wonder deepens. Wonder what? I swear they must just like pull a thesaurus up and be like, right, what's a big word that makes us look clever, right? I'll put it on this Snapchat filter. Act like you expect to get into the end zone. Is that a euphemism? Oh, for God's sake. Shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you'll be sitting amongst the stars. All right, okay, let's, uh, let's just test that one out. Distance to the moon. 384 4,400 kilometers to the nearest star. 4.61 times 10 to the 12. It's just not right then, is it? Okay, and then there's like the BTEC version of that account, right, called DeepX Snaps, right? And in the time that I've loaded this page up to make the video, they've retweeted three pretty questionable things. There's um some nice lingerie here, shameless quotes, and uh, this one, which says, wanting to be someone's sugar baby. Like, who runs these? Drink triple, C double, stay single. Remember my first drink? It's always the simple that produces the marvelous. Uh, Steven makes some pretty good videos from time to time, to be fair. It takes half your life before you discover life is a do-it-yourself project. Like, how is that bundle of shite warranted 208 people pressing a button to show that they agree with it? We are here to make another world. Well, that's news to me, like. Here we go, okay. So there's this picture with a caption saying, what makes the desert beautiful is that somewhere it hides a well. And the picture's a beach. That's not a well, that's a sea. <laughs> the authentic self is the soul made visible. What are you on about? I, I was thinking that myself this morning. The soul made visible. Your big opportunity may be right where you are now. It's just like they've cut up some shite from like a horoscope and whacked it on top of a picture. I am not afraid of tomorrow, for I have seen yesterday and I love today. I, yep, that's good because today was good, right? That means tomorrow's gonna be great too. And what type of pilot's kicking around wearing vans? The best vision is insight. Yeah, it was me thinking it was 2020. Okay, right, so I'll do you a favor, right? And we'll move on from these shite Snapchat pictures. There's also a couple of other types of accounts I fancy talking about. There's uh, the serial offender story in pictures. And what they do is uh, post the same kind of shite pictures, just without the Snapchat quotes, and just even worse ones written on Twitter. People these days. And if we have a look at the picture, right, it's a guy with a 800 quid jacket on, a 450 pound shirt on, and a zero dollar brain. To be fair, right, I do love a good brain shop. Why are they even trying to get out of here? And then there's this relatable one, and we've got a picture of uh, a room with two doors. One of them has a sign that says, free book and a door with no one in it. The other one says free Wi-Fi and it has people literally scaling the side of it. The door is also unhinged. All right, what are you trying to prove? Could have just been connecting the Kindles. The difference between freedom and slavery is one thin line. I am sick of seeing sparrows use this barbed wire me like. Sometimes you don't even realize what God is doing for you. Wait, hang on, what's all these wings for? It's just loads of white people 
beating up black people. It's just racist, this. <laughs> oh, God. And there's this one, which is, oh, it's a little bit depressing. Of uh, uh, the life of a jigsaw puzzle, right? And he's just a baby. Then he grows up. Then he graduates, right? And then he... I think he reads a newspaper of some sort with lots of red crosses on it. And then he chops a limb off so he can fit in with the crowd. Oh, that is kind of deep. Uh, I'll, 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 fair one. <laughs> Smile in five, four, three, two, one. Keep that smile because you're beautiful. Oh. Cheers! <laughs> and there's this one which has the caption, This is deep! And it's a picture of factories like hiding out loads of harmful gases and uh, some bloke being told that he can't smoke. Now how's that deep then? Meanwhile, in a parallel universe. Oh, and it's just like a reverse of the Harambe situation. We in 2016 again, like, oh, when I see you, my heart, and it's, uh, it's a hot graph of going like up and down and that. My stomach and uh, got some nice butterflies. And then we've got it finishing off with my mind and it's just a load of squiggly lines. Respect your teacher. A picture of a big orange candle with a suit on, dripping its head onto other little candles' heads. Whose mind did this come from? Like, what is the point of this? Perspective. If you do not study, you will end up like him. The second picture. If you study well, you will be able to make a better world for him. And that's supposed to be the positive picture, when in reality both parents are pretentious assholes. Sad truth. Crying emoji. Half the world's starving, the other half is trying to lose weight. Now I'm not sure that's mathematically accurate. This simple picture has a very strong message. Now fair enough, right? I, I get what you're on about here, but why is now covering that little boy's crotch? This picture says it all, and it's a, a, an early depiction of them building Noah's Ark. I love this picture. What actually happens when two humans hug? I'm not really sure it is. I think that would be quite a problem if that was true. Sometimes you have to take a step back just to save others. I think you'd be alright if your head's not made out of potassium chlorate. This is deep. Is it? It's just that Donny from Up's house and a few grey people having a look at him. This is so deep. Oh, they're being literal here. Fair one. Oh, hang on. <laughs> There's a quote. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, this isn't a mountain. This isn't an iceberg either. It's a polythene bag, actually. <gasps> oh, fair one. Okay, and then we'll finish off with a, another particularly rubbish one called Conspiracy Story. Some people sell happiness while they don't taste any of it. Like, one... What does that even mean? And two, how's that a conspiracy story? One of the realest things I've read. And it's just a picture of two necklace blokes pointing at a number six or a number nine, depending on the way you look at it, and both having an argument about what number it is. I've got to say, like, I agree. That's definitely one of the realest things I've ever read. Well, this one's pretty brutal. This is deep, which I'm guessing is just now the default caption if they can't think of anything to say. And it's just a great big giant cigarette burning someone's head off. That's just brutal. I Feel Fantastic is a mysterious YouTube video that was posted in 2009. I swear that's Taylor Swift. Right, anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Just before I go, right, we are trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. So if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed already, if you wouldn't mind doing so, that would mean a massive amount of me. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it, and uh, I'll see you guys later.